Greetings from Chicago. It's a pleasure to be here, and I have the uh, great distinction of kicking off the Fellows in Training blog coverage of ACC 12 with Dr. Jane Somerville. Uh, Dr. Somerville is truly one of the pioneers in grown-up congenital heart disease. We've just had the pleasure of listening her listening to her speak at the Legends in Cardiovascular Medicine Roundtable session. Dr. Somerville, you spoke a lot about mentoring relationships that you developed over the course of your career. What advice do you have for fellows entering cardiology today about mentors, mentoring relationships, and how to make the most out of those relationships? Well, I don't quite know about how to make the most. I've had a few failed relationships with fellows, and I've had some great successes, and that's why the unicorns exist and are very loyal and lovely. I think it's difficult to establish a relationship. Kind, you've got to have respect for both sides. Each other, you've got to respect each other. I think that I didn't quite understand when I was also growing up which is what they don't realize when you're quite junior yourself, but you have fellows. I didn't quite understand the problems that they experience, which sometimes you can't imagine, or in my case, you don't have time to be worrying about it. I don't think about things that don't present to me because obviously I have two, one has two lives. But I think one of the things you've got to do is to quite understand the background from which they come from, from where they come from. They're cultural ethnic difficulties or differences they're not necessarily difficulties and one also has got to take time with them to sit with them to have them to your home to make them understand the life you lead as well as you understand the life they lead and encourage them and when they don't work um, I used to say look Teachers have have feelings. No, you're not the only people that have grumbles and feelings. I've got grumbles about you. So you have to come to understand each other. I think that's the most important thing about the relationship. Sometimes they're too much in awe, and sometimes they're too little in awe, either side not understanding each other. It's a good thing to think about now, because I've had lots of amazing fellows, of which I'm very proud of Carol, warns in this country who's the sort of queen of grown-up congenital heart disease and is really good at teaching and caring um, and this is wonderful to come here and know she's here in the audience and that she has helped she has helped me fellows help you because you learn from what you teach I always learn something and you learn about people I learned a lot from them my fellows have given me just as much as I've tried to give them if not more Thank you very much, Dr. Somerville. You also spoke a lot about the challenges that you had to overcome in your career. What challenges do you see uh, fellows in training now facing as they enter careers in cardiology? Well, I think it, it shouldn't be different for a man and a woman, but it is because um, I think one of the greatest challenges, you won't, you won't suffer this if you're in the Mayo Clinic because you'll be properly taught, is that I think the current generation of young cardiologists, and even young consultants when they become that, just don't know how to do clinical cardiology. And I think it's got to be made clear, there are lots of things you, one has to be made clear, that it is important to examine a patient. Firstly, patients like being touched. They like one-to-one. -one. Everybody likes one-to-one -one in whatever relationship you're in. You don't want to be a, a conference all the time. You don't want them looking at the machine when you're the patient. So it's very important in that the biggest challenge they have is to learn, relearn how to be a good clinician. Because they're awful, they're not. They don't, can't even take a history. The machine takes the history. So there's all that has got to be done. I think it's better the part of the past. And one has to teach you to do this and to learn it and to practice it. That's one thing. The second thing is, I think that cardiology training and fellows training must be involved in this. We've got to train. You need some training in radiology, intervention. You need to understand it's a whole group of things. And you need to understand cardiac surgery. 
They need to be together. You need to be with the cardiac surgical fellows. You need to go into the theater and see what they're learning and facing. You need to understand it. This was an advantage I had over all my male colleagues. They'd never done it. And until the transesophageal echo came, they'd talk about lesions they'd never even seen. And you may never see them now unless you go into the operating theater and look because you can't get necropsy anymore in my country. So uh, what are you going to say? You'll be talking about the mitral valve. Have you ever seen a mitral valve? It's like, have you ever seen a unicorn? You wouldn't recognize it if it came along. Thank you very much, Dr. Somerville. It's truly a pleasure having the opportunity to speak with you. We look forward to a very exciting ACC 12 conference. Please go to www.cardiosource.org slash FIT for the latest news and information uh, to coming from ACC to fellows around the country. Dr. Somerville, if you'd like to say one last thing. I'd like to say good luck to you lovely chaps. I expect you'll be consultants and professors. You at least know what you want and how to get it. Um, and I thank you very much for giving me this privilege of talking to the young and getting over, perhaps, to the young who are somewhere out there. Thank you very much.